Welcome to Daily Prayer for Thursday, 30th April. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, your ears are never closed to the prayers of your people. Help us to bring whatever is on our minds and hearts before you in sincerity and with confidence. Amen. A reading from the Book of Acts. After they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and everything in them, It is you who said by the Holy Spirit through our ancestor David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage, and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate and the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel gather together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. We may well be doing rather more praying than usual these days, but I doubt if many of us pray in quite the kind of way Luke tells us the earliest Christians prayed, expressing their rage at the opposition to them which was beginning to grow. They were angry and they wanted God to know about it. Thinking about my prayers and the kinds of prayers I lead, both in church in normal times and here online, I wonder if too often I am trying to look good before God, striking the right note of humility, showing concern for the kinds of things good Christian people should be concerned about. Perhaps there are times when we should be a bit more angry or express our upset or frustration more freely. It's well known that getting emotions out in the open can help. It might make us stronger and begin to change things for the better. Let us pray. O God, we are sorry if we are timid in prayer, if we try to give a good impression when in fact you know us fully already. Help us to express our anger against this disease, against bad decisions which have left our health and care services struggling, against misleading ideas and false theories. And let us also express our gratitude for care and kindness and for good decisions which have supported our health and care services. O God, we are sorry that we are shy in prayer about what we really feel. If we are bored out of our minds, we say that to you now. If we are frightened, we are telling you now. If we are finding isolation changing us in ways we don't like, we say that to you now. And if we cannot pray today, listen to our silence. 
in the times when we can find our own words and in the times we cannot, there are still Christ's words which we can pray saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And the blessing of God, Creator, Christ and Holy Spirit, be upon us all. Amen.